Hey guys, it's Adam here, and we're going to start a new series. <coughs> this new series is going to be called Commenting on Comments. And basically what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the comments and grab random comments that I see that I like and that I want to comment on, and I'm going to put them down below here-ish, around here-ish, whatever, over here somewhere, whatever. And, um, and then I'll reply to the comment. So... Let's get started first with uh, comments showed up. All right, we're good. Okay, Enfield Police, how is your blood pressure? Question mark. I'm gonna say probably pretty good because I'm still alive, buddy. But uh, thanks for asking. Greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Next from Bill six oh five. Your parents are awesome. You know what? I have to agree with you, Bill six oh five. You are correct. From a Winnipeg OSIS Trail. Winnipegasis Trail? Winnipegasis Trail, I guess. Adam, you need to watch this vlog now that you are sober. The vlog he's referring to is the one from the weekend that I was out at my buddy's place out in the boondocks there and uh, we got pretty drunk at the end of the night there's tequila beer some other shit involved and well i edited it all up and sent it to youtube what what you guys don't realize is the days i film i usually don't edit those days either so when i was editing the video i was sober so i saw it then and i said fuck it put it up anyway let's see what happens anyway Moving right along. From uh, Daniel Bread Baskets. Yup. Buddy just chooch the medicinals. Med medic. Yeah, med we'll just go with it. Instead of getting liquored. Well, that does sound like a good idea. But I only use the medicinals at night before I go to bed. So. But free and rights, guys. Free and rights. From a rich Giroux. The last seven minutes of this vlog was epic dickeredness, horseshit, and nonsense. Lol. Are you sure the last seven minutes was? Not the whole thing? Like, just the seven? Because usually it's the whole thing. Just the seven. Huh. Huh. Fuck, it's the way she goes, boys. So we have The Monkey Eats. And he says... Toward the end, uh, it sounds like one pug life coming out of him. Going out of me, how? Did it hurt? What was I doing? I, I don't recall ever finishing a vlog taking a poop. That's the only time things ever come out of me. Unless he means I said something like one pug life. Could that be it? Because sometimes that happens. As Canadians, we tend to talk a lot alike sometimes. It's, it's pretty weird. But it's just the way she goes. Welcome to Canada. Fuck yeah! You know? On the west side says, can I get a stovepipe? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Stovepipe! From Canuck Brewer asks, hey, are you going to the August Vlog Fest in Seattle? Only $99. Well, it wouldn't just cost me $99, because number one, I'd have to get from North Bay to Seattle. Not exactly an Easy feat. Driving fuel would cost a lot of money. Flying, flying would cost a lot of money. So, I'm gonna have to say no. Pugs2300 asks, What do you think about the Nautilus tank? I've seen that Pug hasn't been impressed with his, but most, including myself, like it very much. It's not my favorite, but it's up there. Hard to beat a Russian. Yeah, Russians are really hard to beat sometimes. But as far as the Nautilus goes, I like it. It's a good tank. I got it sitting on the MVP. I used to use it on the, on the, there it is, on the ELVT. But on the ELVT, I put a K-Fun onto it. And this K-Fun used to sit on my red DNA-20 box. But now, upon my red DNA-20 box, is a Russian 91%. See how that worked? This thing started with this one, the uh, Nautilus. Then it went to the K-Fun. Now the Russians. But no, I like these Nautilus tanks. They do pretty good. And apparently you can buy the Nautilus mini coils, which are vertical built, not horizontal. And load them into this tank, and apparently it chucks pretty good. It's not too bad, not too bad. Ozzy Stickler says, I like ponies. Just saying. Right on. I like cows. Fuck it. Give her, bud. 
The monkey eats once again, people says. Cut your muff already. Fucking dog outside pissed off. Tim Clifton says, You need to create a flavor called Roadkill. I wonder what that would probably taste like. Ozzy Stickler says, Fucked over by a coon. A little racist, just saying. Since when do raccoons all of a sudden fall under hate crime? Fucking raccoons. Wow. Well, you guys have some weird laws over there in Australia where raccoons are special. I apologize. A Rapid Lord asks, Will SSD increase battery life compared to mechanical hard drives? If so, what percent can we expect? Well, laptop hard drives, your average 2.5 inch laptop hard drive draws about 6 watts, where your average solid state drive draws about 2 watts. I'm not going to give you a percentage, but I just gave you two numbers. Work one out on your own time. The more you know. Backwoods3214 says, Lots of tools in that box. And I'm all like, friggin' writes Holmes. CJ Daddy. Fucker was here. Look. Said so. He was fucking here, guys. Check that shit out. 920 Games says, Tell us about your ex. You never did. I did this one time. A year and a bit ago. That one time I did. I'm sure did. Peter A. Okay, let me try this again. Peter Rajorter. You call your fuel expensive? Smiley face emoji. Cheapest fuel in Sweden is 95 octane is around 223 per liter and people still drive. Keep on vlogging. Wait, 95 octane? Really? All we got in this town is 87, 89, and 91. We used to have a place that sold 94, but they fucked off. 95 octane, holy shit. Yeah, that's kind of expensive. 223 a liter. Yeah, put 20 liters in your tank and you owe them 23 bucks. Lame! Pound to pounds all like, choo choo bro, and I'm all like... The John Chun's all like, nice pube in your coffee, and I'm all like, thanks bruh, that's flavor. James Ready the Fifth is all angry and says, Quit stealing pug shit for fuck's sakes. And I'm all like, Bro, I live seven hours away from pug. How the fuck can I steal his shit? You gotta stop. OBZX11 just informed me that he's going to Macca's to eat humans. Hmm. Fuck, bud. Have at her. Mark, McCull Mark McCulloch realized finally that I'm lazy and dirty. Just like his mom. Matt Mroy has a nice political thing to say here. Just like the liberals are ruining America, they keep spending money that we don't have. That's what they're doing up here. They're selling off the company I work for, and it's going to cost the taxpayers $70 million. Fuck yeah. Go lips. Matt Hurd says, Ghosts, man. You got ghosts. Fuck. Anything going on behind me there? Nothing? We're good? We're clear? We're clear? We're, 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 we're. We're good. We're good. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think we're good. Bad Drivers of Georgia says, It's worse when you have a camera going 30 minutes and you leave the stupid lens cap on. Yeah. It's one thing I am super glad about with these new Panasonics is that you open them and the lens cap opens. You close it and it closes on the old... Samsung's I used first cameras ever you had manual lens cap open and close and the one it wasn't even a lens cap that you closed it was a stupid shield that you clipped on over top of the camera's lens so you had to like bust that off every time and I was so worried I was gonna break it but yeah fuck it. I'm one thing I'm so happy about with the Panasonic's is you don't have to deal with that nonsense it's all automatic motorized gradually one day a grain of sand will get in there and just dick it over but for now, for the most part, it works. We'll just let it go. Randy Leahy says, 10K is nothing, man. Pug1 has like 56K. I know he's got 56. Yeah, 56K. That's freaking awesome. He's exploding. But in the good way. Big Papa Parrand1 
asks, do you have any other shirts than Vlog and Life ones? Why, yes, I do. Daniel Breadbasket says, good to see Adam write stout instead of liquor. Thanks. ObiZenX11 says, you would try anything, dude, to make views UFO. You would try anything, dude, to make views UFO. What? Anyway, people, there you have it. Um, those are the comments I picked for this episode. Next time around, what I'm going to do is, in the actual comments section on the YouTube new layout fucking thing, it shows me the previous 250 so on comments that were posted to the channel on any given video. Doesn't matter what video. And I go through them and I grab ones that I like, that I could probably answer, that I could think of something maybe funny to do with them. You know, this was a rough edit. Uh, next time I plan on doing a little bit more prep work for it. I want to release these every Wednesday and um, just go with it and see how they do. And if it's awesome, then we'll roll with it. And if it's not, we'll dump it. But um, anyway, people, I'm done with this. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I say, every Wednesday this will come out. And then every Friday we'll have the Flyer Day. Two new segments added to the channel. So until next time, guys, take care. <laughs>